Is there anybody going middle? Where's Thor? Shouldn't Thor be on right now? For what? Did he get a life or something? I think he got a life. Fuck. Sad to report that. Covered sex. <laughs> I'm, gonna an extra, I'm gonna get an extra CV for Charlie. Uh, they got a um, commitment here. A couple of tanks. There was a there was a thread on Reddit today. Uh, describe your sex life using a quote from Lord of the Rings. There's some pretty there's a bunch of good ones. Nice. Like uh, nothing. There's nothing here. The uh, look like looks like meats back on the menu, boys. Classic. <laughs> oh. I've seen that one. His heart is broken. It will be blown no more. <laughs> it's far no further. <laughs> Damn, that was a fucking good one, Dan. I'm surprised. Sometimes the nerd comes out of you, Dan, and I'm like surprised. Yeah, sometimes. Actually, it's from a TV show. The thick of it. I've been touting here regularly. Completely acidic, vile. Oh, uh, Squid Show. No, it's not Squid Show. It is a British political comedy that Beat was based on. Fucking brilliant beyond brilliant. We got some super heavy tanks coming in on Charlie. I'm um, gonna need some help. Nobody took the front down in golf. What's this coming down the road here? Hello. Oh, M84. Oh, there was something here. I got ATGMs, but I don't think I can get them all. I think you're gonna get them all. I know you always believe in me, Raygon, oh, but uh, they already killed them all. Maybe it's time to shine for the ammos. I got one. They, if they turn around. Wait, he has one HP left. I fuck it. I'm gonna get them, boys. This is not working. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You know what my my uh, boss used to say: sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. His name was Lil. My boss used to say, if you fucking lose, you're gonna lose your job. Oh. So don't lose your job. Was this when you were a rifleman? No, this was a bit tight. Yeah, well, they kind of forced you into a suicide. <laughs> oh, that's not You don't even get any perks. I killed my pirate, just, just bought it. I think it got killed by a 1990. Luckily, luckily myself, I've never actually dealt with that thing, and I never did. It's a good thing. Uh, 
Jesus. Fuck. Shit, dude. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I went, I went crazy. That's the guy to talk to somebody about this one. I love you. I love, I love you for, I love you for being here. I'm trying. I, I don't know what to say. Well, why are you being weird about this kind of thing? You know what? I am being weird. I'm just trying to be supportive, but to be honest, I admit I'm not being supportive because I'm being weird. <laughs> I, what a thoughtful analysis. If only I, your comment was just as thoughtful. I'm sorry, yeah. but I feel comfortable. You're welcome. That's not what I was going for, but cool. I want you to feel comfortable. No. Yes. That but guy, yes. uh, clown pinky sound like the guy from Star Wars last night, or what? Oh yeah, I want to talk to him again. I liked him. <laughs> that, that was like, okay, you guys, you guys <laughs> called. The guy. Somebody called me out. I think it was White. He called me out with him, and I yeah. actually had a muted. I had a muted the whole time. He got the dog and I was like, "Who are you talking about, Picky?" Yeah, he loved his life, but he's, um, he knows his, his Japanese crazy French cartoon, but he, he's got a cracking voice. What are you guys talking about? Are you even real if you don't know your hentai by the code by heart? I, I don't. Oh my god, you you said the code. Oh, you fucking... Uh. What's the code? Anyway. It's like a six digit code and it's the ID for the... Give me the numbers, Mason! What do I they was, mean? Was, <laughs> was, 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 no, no, no. He's the guy that a couple of weeks ago he went on and on about killing the other guys on the planet and like oh, exterminating them. And I had had. I don't like him anymore. It's, it's got a lot, of, a lot of work to do to be playing war games. Hey, you're talking about Pinky Clown. Yes! <laughs> the person we've been trying to remind you of. He wants to kill all the people in the world! Yes. He was like, which. What, okay, this is his. One of the, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna my semi quote teams. him here. I'm gonna semi quote him here. people not knowing people on Discord. But he said, he said that we should round them all up uh -oh. and just kill them all as fast as we can. Uh -oh. Because they're terrible people and they've never been anything but uh -oh. terrible people. Uh -oh. yeah. So the thing about hentai, and I assume that's the case with manga as well, is that they can be identified by a six-digit code. Anyways, the point is, these guys, listen, listen. Um, I, I at this point, I'm more, more interested I, in the I hentai than this. Coup, I have a coup de gras here. I have a coup de gras here. He is native Canadian. Oh, uh, whoa. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, he has minority protection then. No, what is it? Uh, his, his race was already done. Similar things back in the day. But you'd think you'd have bones to pick with other things before Muslim, you know? Listen, all I'm saying that's why I muted him and you guys called me out last night and you're like, why, why, why are we gonna mute him? Sure you guys weren't, he was talking about the rebels? <laughs> oh no, he was just literally talking about every Muslim on the planet. <laughs> Like, gotta take them all out. The full power of this battle station. Uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's uh, now a stop right here. Is that Pinky there? Is Pinky here? Oh, God, is he here? No. No, oh, he's got to control the battle station already. No. The jokes The rebels are too well equipped. <laughs> I just, if he was a white man telling all that stuff, I'd be like, sure, okay, you're just, you're a white person. You're white! Oh. What the oh. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what, what he was saying about exterminating all the Muslims, like rounding them all up and taking them all out, was like, he's Native Canadian. Native American. Like an Indian? Yeah, fully. So, well, you look, if, anybody's got, if anybody's got a gripe, it's him. To take out somebody in another land. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, come on. They, That's quite normal. Come on, come and get Pete will be racist to other people from a completely different culture? That's normal. Um, 
Not, not for native Canadians. No, no, I'm gonna what, what are they supposed to be? Fucking saints? I mean, they had their fire. I'm not like, gonna wanna take up Muslims on the other side of the planet. I, I totally get it. I don't, I don't even understand. What, what did Muslims ever do to, um, native Canadians? It, it nothing! Makes, nothing at all? It makes no sense. What do you, what do you think that it is? Well, well. The point is, the thing is, the native, native Americans were fucking almost extincted by white people. So for him to turn around and say we should do that collectively to Muslims, like, in the way he was saying it was like, it was hateful. It was hateful. It wasn't just like, oh, this is my analog. This is like, yeah, let's fucking do this. We should do this right now. We should have done it yesterday. <laughs> and like, it's just like that's super dark, especially for somebody we like I'm saying. This right now, we should have done this yesterday. Yeah, like, think about this. I'm getting New no. Zealand Christchurch vibes from this guy. Not me. Not me. No, no, from the guy. Yeah, not you. Yeah, like it's just that. Yeah, he probably I, I did not go to a church. I don't know if he's educated yeah, as well. well like maybe he's, maybe he doesn't know. Them. Natives have free education here in Canada, so most likely he is educated. I I, I think okay, but putting aside his nationality or his background, people are racist or say racist things for different reasons. Maybe he was looking into Ottoman history or something. A lot of bloody stuff in that. Maybe. Uh, he just hates Muslims. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's really yeah, it. No, no, history no, no, goes no. both ways. That's, a, that's not a very good uh, excuse. Oh, so what you're saying is history swings both ways? <laughs> I guess, I guess, Liz, yeah. you're going to have to ask him, but... The way that he described it a couple of weeks ago, I don't. Think I, had, I, will. I had to tell him to shut up because I was just so offended. I was like, "Look, you're fucked for saying this," and I threw that oh, no, whole thing. Like, you are Negative American. This almost happened to you, and oh. you're like species. That's a good term, Negative Wait, but, American. But, it's, but he's put Native. Uh, of the native. I said Native, not Negative. Wait, there's yeah, nothing fucking about him. The other side of the coin, maybe he's smart enough to look at history. Say well, yeah, you know it's gonna happen again, and yes, is well, Muslim burgeoning population center in the world right now? Are they expanding? Are you know are, are they becoming uh, the dominant religion? They are. They are. Yeah, they are. You know, so oh, I no. mean, uh, if he's got a gripe, he's got a gripe, and if, if he's prejudiced, well, right, sorry, prejudice is another thing. But you know, I mean, you look back at you look back at history. We have gone after the Germans, uh, going after the Russians after World War Two. Absolutely, we should. Had the advantage. I, I agree. Only white well, people did not have the advantage. What about onions, though? They they had their army was like many multiples ours. Mm, when yeah, you say well, ours, you're talking about the United States. Yes. I'm sure, uh, well, I'm maybe. sure that I'm sure the the Britain. But okay, but another flip side okay. of it is that the army is very big, division-wise, uh, yeah, but wait, wise um, 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 uh, before you get, like, why? Why Why would, would you have declared war against the USSR? What did the USSR do to the Allies after, during World War II, or after? It, it wasn't, it was an idea. It's what they did to the Allies. It's what they did to the Allies of the Allies. That's it was it was an ideological war, well, and the Allies would have the no, Allies would have never did. won World War Two without they all the They did continue con conquest in but, uh, Europe. Yeah, and, and, and it would have been better. Look, look at the look at the, the Temple Hall there. You think they right. should have put the game on destruction instead? Right. Temple Hall oh, is on conquest. Jeez. Well, they 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 spent a lot of resources. Uh, Oh, this to, is where I wish I would have paid five food, more for the younger and Eddie. Food oh, and and uh, just just humanitarian aid in and out of West Berlin. Uh, and like you know, like it, it went on for I can't remember like six, six or seven years. Like in it, it was literally constant. It was basically like 
the Afghan airlift, except for a year. It went on for for a year, just a year. Just a year? But, oh, okay. yeah, it was just a year. But um, see, okay, so I mean, you have to look at the entire situation. Like everybody was playing those sorts of games back then. Um, the, the USSR went in with like strong-handedly politically turning governments into communists and the US just gave money to everyone through the Marshall Plan and was like well you know you're indebted to us so you're basically our bitch so I mean not really we we gave out that money with with zero strings attached that's that that was... money was never paid back yeah, yeah, that, that should have been, that should have had strings. But, oh, that should have had strings. No. How it, did the uh, buys of cash hold on together then? They had so, plenty of gold they took from the United Kingdom, them, so... Yeah. They took gold as collateral, and they told people that if you want to pay back the US, you pay back in US dollars, so if they turned the US dollar into the dominant uh, currency, which was the pound before that, you know, it's not, it's not a mystery that everybody pays for, you know, the, the, the most used commodities in U.S. dollars. And the U.S. wants to keep the U.S. keeps the U.S. dollar nice and So yeah, there were, I mean, yeah, it, it was, it was nice. Obviously, they could have not done it, but there was a lot of advantage to be gained from that. And you know, it's the Cold, it's the cold War, man. They're just everybody's trying to keep most of the geopolitical strength on their side. I, I don't see it as, as reason to wage war on, on, on the USSR. N not that I agree with USSR policy, I find it terrible, but I still don't think it's a good reason for war. Well, we were ready to go at the time, and, uh, you know, we could have But then again, that's a problem, right? When you don't have to clear a uh, boogeyman. Well, you would add China. Sure. <laughs> China, China, China was a U.S. ally back then. Yeah. Well, it was a yeah, nationalist, yeah. Uh, nationalist organization. No, no, no. no. Com Com communist China was sort of in this weird position because after Stalin died, um, uh, Mao was pissed at uh, Khrushchev because he went through destalinization and Mao was a huge fan of the Stalin way of doing things. Really? Yes. Because I also remember the story where uh, some uh, commissar advisors were sent to China. Uh, Mao sent them back in body bags. Say, say, say that again, I didn't hear the last part. There was a an equivalent to a commissar, an advisor that came from the Kremlin. Uh, that was to push not just in support of China, but also to make them a client state of Russia, the USSR, not not as an equal. Well, that 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 was before. That was during the war before the Korean War. That was like when Stalin was still alive. No. I mean, do you have an idea uh, of the date? Because basically, like, USSR-China relations got pretty sour right after the So, you know, mid-60s. Yeah, hence the uh, it, campaign it's possible. in War Game. Uh, it's it's Red Dragon has a... Their own faction. No, it has a campaign where... Bear versus uh, Dragon, I think it's called. Yeah, Dragon, yeah. Uh, uh, it's quite possible that happened. That event happened after, after the Korean War during this, during, during the sixties instead of earlier. But the in 70s, terms of actually, during 70s? the seventies, the Soviet Union and the Chinese Army actually went to war over some islands. I can't remember the name of the river up north, but they fought back and forth. It involved some like twenty divisions on both sides. Yeah, that, that was a big oh shit situation for both the. Uh, it was a it was a border conflict. I didn't want to call it an actual war. Isn't that wild? That just seems like crazy to me. Uh, uh, if you want to look up on another interesting event, is when there was a T sixty two tank. It was brand new at the time. Got stuck in a river, 
and the Chinese uh, went to great lengths to steal it from the border. Yeah, I remember that one. I read the British stole a tank turret from the sent it by a diplomatic mail. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds hilarious. But, yeah. Know exactly what we're doing. Well, it's good. It's nice that they finally got him back for fucking. Steal, uh, for, for stealing fucking the jet engine. Which jet engine? Are you talking about the Meteor or something else? No, the Soviets stole the uh, blueprints for jet engine technology from the British. Can you imagine what a different world it would be if the Soviets never got that? Well, they probably would have. I thought that program. I thought that was part of the the Meteor program. They were given that as part of like a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Oh after yeah, the war. that might be right. But uh, the the USSR and the Americans were stealing from each other for quite a few things. So it may be a different engine, or maybe even a more more advanced one. Weirdly, I know someone who can help us. He's grabbed out of the camera for a moment. Really? Yeah. <laughs> He's got all his documents and everything out there. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Nice. But yeah, basically, like, you know, the, my point from this whole conversation is that it's not all black and white. And, and, and especially after World War II, I mean, the Russians made most of the, they made most of the effort to, to punch back the Nazis. Well, they personally, I would, uh, personally, I would, I would, uh, now, today, if, 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 if the U.S. went to war against USSR and I would look at it today, I'd feel pretty disgusted by the U.S. because they came to the war late, basically did very little in terms of sacrifice uh, when it comes to the war, and then they just fucking beat down on the Russians after, uh, when they're weak, when they're down. I mean, did very little in, in terms of sacrifice of blood, but like, dude, the, the U.S. got involved in a European war twice in a row that had nothing to do with the U.S., and lost thousands of people. You forgot for trade, Euro bro. Let me European tell you war. about trade. COVID. Trade. How did they the U.S. cause this war? They did it for trade. They went in for trade. Cause, cause it, it, you know, the Germans were blocking trade. and, and it, uh, Basically, the reason why the U.S. is a superpower today is because of World War II. The British got ruined economically and they owed the US so much with the whole destroyer for bases and lend leagues and all that stuff. And so the US had every reason to uh, be on the Allies side because it made them and I'm not saying they did it just for that, but I'm just saying, you know, you don't underestimate um, what the US gained economically and politically out of um, helping the Allies in the world war, winning the war. And I'm not yeah, we didn't get anything out of it. I'm just saying that we've been dragged into a war that was not caused by us twice in a row, row for a world war. Well, bad to say you walked into it with the right white Especially with the, the kick in the ass with uh, with a. Uh, with Hawaii, so... And Lusitania as well. It's, it, it's, yeah, Congress debated these things for a long time. Before, like, uh, while we're ignoring it, uh, suddenly we got attacked and we marched in. It was years of debate. Which is less than you think. Oh yeah, it's a fight! Oh yeah, and there's that thing with Mexico. The telegram. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. Zimmerman. Zimmerman, Zimmerman Telegram, thank you very much. Uh, I forgot about the Zimmerman Telegram. That was such a they, nice... Did we ever find out that was real or not? I... That was real. It was. Yeah. It was a really nice move by Churchill. Zimmerman Telegram was World War One. Yes. Uh, the people here started pulling out examples for why did America go to uh, World War One and Two. so... Yeah, it's getting a little bit uh, confusing, but the point is that America has had to bail out Europe twice. Twice. I'm, I'm just saying, 
My my country, we used to be an isolationist country. We didn't want to get involved in wars. Now we're world police because we got dragged twice into catastrophic wars, and finally we we're like, you know, fuck this. Like, we gotta fucking end this shit. We got we gotta fucking get in there and intervene before the shit gets out of hand. And so, what, what's the alternative? Return to isolation. I don't know. I, I, I'm not exactly sure, but it's, interventionism isn't working out in our favor right now. Well, I mean, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. There, I think there's some kind of a balance that we're going to have to strike. I really think there's a huge economic bonus for the U.S. to, to, to do interventionism. Yeah, I mean, but like, there's, uh, there's, there's got to be like a point of diminishing returns, right? It's not that the world police, it's that the money police. And we're making sure that I agree. we make our money. I mean, I mean, the, the whole carrier system, I mean, it, it, there's a reason why the U.S. has, what, 11, 12 active carriers, and the next country has, like, two or three? It, they control every single commercial waterway in the world, and, and that's money. That's fucking money, baby. And it's smart. It's so fucking smart. It's basically what the British used to do. I mean, if you look at... Um, if you look at the British Empire at its peak, they always had colonies where there was like control of waterways, like you know Singapore and uh, Hong Kong, and uh, they had the territories that are now the UAE, where there's the Hormuz Strait. Uh, they had a lot of influence in Iran. They had South Africa. You had to pass by there if you wanted to go around Africa. That's that's fucking. Ocean control equal trade control equals lots of money. It's all about the money, money, money. Oh, me, the <laughs> money is always a big incentive. But yeah, part of the good. deal, I think, is what with America being the, the world police, is that there are quite a number of countries that do rely on America for, def for defense and security and assurance that they're not going to be invaded by another neighboring country. Usually, someone that's very much, much bigger. Yeah, the Norwegians yes. always keep an eye on those pesky Swedes. <laughs> I think the major problem with Americans' foreign policy is that we fail to grasp the political landscape of any place we go into, and instead we try to instill democracy, which is all good and everything, but sometimes those countries just don't want it. Well, they're not ready for it. It's like treating Afghanistan as one country. As a Agreed. Well, I mean, the same could be said for early Korea, the way the early South Korean president ran South Korea, and the same with South Vietnam, was the same way. They looked at it more as a dictatorship, kingdom, however you want to look at it, instead of as a democracy, and they felt they had the power over the people. They could impose their will and to do whatever they wanted. No, I totally agree. Um, the the U.S. foreign policy should have favored um, figuring out how to stabilize uh, the regions that they go to, and you know have them as stable allies instead of just being dependent on U.S. presence to to be stable. Well, they did that in South America. They ended up popping up a bunch of dictatorships. Um, First thing should be to get a stable president. Yes. Easier said than done, I think. <laughs> you would think that in 300 million people, you would find someone that's not mentally unhinged, but... I mean, I, uh, there's also the fact that they keep changing allegiances. I mean, initially, uh, Saddam Hussein was the guy, was America's best friend. They brought him up to power because they wanted to fuck up Iran, and they got him into a war with Iran. But then they went and sold arms both to Iran and to Saddam because they made a new friend in Israel. And, I mean, it's a whole mess. It's like, you know, cho choose your guy. Who, who the fuck do you want to, to, to pick as, as an ally? How is Israel involved? Because basically, um, Israel used to be close friends with France, mostly. Which is why a lot of their early weapons are uh, French weapons. And which is why uh, they actually got their nuclear technology from France. 
with some, I think there was British involvement, I'm not sure about that part. It used to be British Palestine is what used to control it, so that's why a lot of their early weapons were... The word the early weapons were chieftains so, yeah, and stuff like that. But uh, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking <laughs> early Cold War, and and then yeah, and then eventually the U.S. was like, hey, do you want to like be best friends? And uh, they got to be. But that was all after Iran turned into the Islamic Republic. Because before that, Iran was the U.S.'s best friend, which is why they still have F-14s. They used to have a pretty fucking insane army. Fun and speaking of the F-14s. <laughs> The U.S. has destroyed every F-14 we have just for that fact to make sure that the black market never got weapons to the Iranians. I'm from the impression the Iranian F-14s couldn't work anymore because they were the lack of spares. And I have a funny <laughs> story. <laughs> I have a funny <laughs> story about the Iranian the, F-14s. They're making sure. their own spares, and I have a question for whoever said um, that they canceled the F-14 program to uh, shut off the black market. Uh, from from my knowledge, uh, Iranian F-14s are F-14As. Like, do they share the same parts with the later variants? There is a lot of commonality, and it wasn't that they shut off the F-14 program. It was that the that when we, we got rid of up. the F-14s, we chopped them all up and got rid oh, of them for that reason. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see. We, we never mothballed them. them. <laughs> what we do with the rest of our fleet? They didn't go to the boneyard. They got. Uh, someone also had a very interesting uh, piece of information about the, uh, the the Tomcat. Nice. Oh, I got a story, but that's something that probably should be waited until after the battle. Oh, uh, okay. Well, so far people haven't been too uh, mindful about that, so... Heh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so... Oh, the sure. story goes, um, when I was in EOD school, I had an instructor who was an EOD tech in the 70s and actually worked for the Iranians when we were friendly with them. And when the revolution happened, he was tasked out by the CIA to go to the Iranian bases and either see if they would defect or he was going to sabotage the F-14s. And he sabotaged some, like... 30 F-14s and got like 15 of the pilots to defect and fly their F-14s to Iran or Iraq and other oh, countries. Wow. That's wild. You imagine how scary That's that must have been. Death to America. Can I talk to you about your F-14? Does your F-14 need an extended warranty? <laughs> I'm so he, he, an he, third party. So he <laughs> went in after the Shah fell. He was already in country. Jury. <laughs> That's ballsy. Leave this bush. It's gonna explode. Uh, that that is a monumental like black uh, black operation. Uh, that it's, is a. It's on the CIA uh, fact book, I believe. I thought you were I, say I'd have to find then. it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it is actually it is the operation is on it. Oh, CIA! It's all secret. It's on the CIA blog. It's on their blog. Today we'd like to tell you about how we kill. We hate we hate the CIA and uh, in in my. Class, or, or, or in, in, at, at my job, basically, we hit the CIA. You in the FBI? The original iteration no. of the CIA, the original intent behind it, I do understand. What they have morphed into is probably a bit beyond their purview. They're just lazy as fuck. Wait, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? They've taken thinking outside the box and gone a bit far with it, haven't they? <laughs> Dude, that Syria was like two feet away from the ground. I killed it. He was going for your Gepherds, I think. Alright, we need to push up this metal here. Yeah, the infantry is getting very thin. They may, they may just try to push through. I have been trying to get golf. Golf? Oh, you're. Oh, wait. Paul's busy on the left. Anna, holy jeez. Paul, Paul Atreides? 
Right side, right side, cluster you on friendships. Excited about Doom? Oh, I don't so think so. we're the same match, uh, Chaos. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm in a different one. I, I, I got tired of waiting, so. I was looking for this cluster, like, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Such a stupid thing. I think I got zonked because somebody was talking about like needing help in the middle, and that was exactly our problem now. So I just kind of like folded up on it. So stupid. Actually, how much time is in your game? Eight. Eight minutes. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, not shite, as in incoming, sorry. Pog. What? Fat ass white girl. There's like two generations of difference. <laughs> <laughs> Fat ass white girl. Yeah, Pog. Fat ass white girl. Wait, what? Calling me a fat ass white girl. There are, there are there are two different words that sound the same. Pog. Pog. There's P-A-W-G, and then there's P-O-G. Person other than grunt. I've never heard of that. Oh yeah, but like, this isn't army lingo, this is, uh, Twitch lingo. Ah. That came from Twitch? That's it, I've been blessed so. oh, no, that's, a third <laughs> that's a third meaning, Regan. Oh, okay. Sure. Pog in the army means people other than Hans. Yeah. Oh, that's what just Redbeard just said? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Nice. Hell yeah. And that one is pronounced Pogue. No. Yeah, I've it's heard not Pogue. <laughs> I've, I've heard that. In Where is the magic E? <laughs> Where is the magic E? Sorry, I'm not looking on the left, I'm trying to help in the middle so the carriage is coming to the Oh, baby, yeah, back door action. Starship, let's go, you can do it! Oh! Yes! <laughs> yeah. He had an optical failure. He was dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got him from the back. Right in the arse. Hello? Hello. Hello, Enzo. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello there. Hello. 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 Oh, maybe 
Whoever that was with the plane. Good, good shooting. Dude, Dan, uh, stop your mortars, man. You're killing right. my stuff. Sorry. Atlanta, uh, Echo. Oh, fuck, you had one last salvo. That's bad. That's bad. That's so bad. It's not so bad. Stop them, man! They're still firing. More. More fire. What am I hearing? What is this? Save the call. Wait, is Minutes here? Did he turn on the... 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 I don't think I've ever heard What, go save the king? Yeah. I'm not gonna sing it, I'm from a republic. Yeah, the whole thing, the, the whole royalty thing is a little bit out there. It's just, it's... A bit dated. Standard still a thing. Can you stop the music, please? I can't hear myself think. It's not a person. You can mute the, the link chat, but... I can uh, back you up now. There's like six specs now, it's coming. Yeah, well, it's not good. Oh, okay. With this, sure. Just need you to make first contact. Go, boys, go. Chinese light infantry. No, wrong country. Japanese light infantry. Might be hitting your mortars. Empty helicopter rush. Yay! There they are. Yep. Thank you, 75 millimeter naval gun. Seventy-six, actually. Um, close, close, very close. Never get the girth. Fatal mistake. Oh shit! They took hotel back. Oh well. With seven seconds left, I finally got golf with the help of Alex. Finally. Yes, the cons rape. Is there any now. room on blue? Should be. Wow. Adam. Hello, Adam. In a bit. Fucking draw. You you drawed? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we drew, yeah. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for the games, guys. Have a we're, good night. We're on Jupiter. Orbital buddy. Command yes, Level One, signing out. Signing out, buddy. Good night. Chaos, which lobby are you in? Uh, I just joined Jupiter.
Is that where everyone is? Dead man, Ray God. I just joined. I'm leaving though. I'll get you. Ah, Dervish. Uh, grab Dervish. Yep. Dude. Dervish, you, you also changed your name in uh, the DGO. Huh. I changed it. Yes, I did. I changed it all back to keep it simple. Well, yeah, uh, in this lobby, uh, yeah, that will save people like quite a number of seconds for switching people. Are you attached to your other name? Adam, you wanna... The army oh, one? No, not really. really. Hmm, okay. Also, Ooh. by taking out army, man, it kind of lessens the amount of questions all the time, which is uh, not a bad thing. It's I don't have a problem letting people know I'm in the army, but, but it kind of dominates it. Yeah, people, people, well, like, a lot of people here have some type of experience, so it will it come up. Coming